feels like it could be a final here on the first day. And Clef will kick it away to Henry. And if you're a Madden fan, this is just a real treat. These are two players you have had your eyes on, and you are really, really excited for this matchup. I mean, look at that. The sick. Look at that winning percentage. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Top two all-time and winning percentage out of this field of 16. I mean, this is, I can't stress it enough. This is just a dream matchup for any Madden fan, especially if you've been keeping up with the MCS. You got the young phenom Henry against the competitor Clef the God. Ask the chat to go in. I don't yeah, want them that, picking that, later on. I, Ask them to go no, in th now. That's a good point. What do you, who you guys got in the chat? If you're going to go with Henry, the young hen dog, give me a one. If you're going with Clef, the God, give me a two in the chat. And, and we forget, go back yeah. and check. We, I like yeah. seeing where the chat's heads is at. Don't forget those Twitch extensions that's going on right now. That's a great way to get involved. And why not get you a champ Bailey if you can, too? Here we go. First and ten. Henry will start with it first. Murray. Wide open as the galloping ghost. Casper pulls it in at the 42. Yeah, just good pocket from Henry, and he talked about that Dave Casper. That was his favorite tight end. He meets all those route running thresholds, over 85 medium route running, over 85 deep route running. That means he's going to be crispy on those cuts. There's Clark getting in there. One of the draft picks made by Clef the God. That'll push him back four. Briggs up second down. Little ball in celebration right there after the sack. You've seen that. And if you're Clef, you see this. That's that clear out play right there. You gotta watch Hollywood Brown on that fade route as he motions him. That's been Henry's bread and butter. And there's a another sack back to back. And just like that, Henry is way behind the chains. Yeah, Clef in this 1-4-6 defense. This is the meta defense. But it, you know, it hits a little bit different when you got somebody with the skills of Clef the God running it. Sends four, a five. Boy, that is a dangerous pass by Henry. And here comes your ordinary fourth 21. He's got to punt it away. See, look at the emotion of Clef. He scullied or a beanie, whatever you want to call it, scullied up. And you know, Clef is a competitor. This is a young man, like I said, he started playing Madden at 12 years old, and he was good at 12 years old. That was the crazy thing, Scott. We're at this tournament, and we're like, who is this 12 years old making a run? And his mom's capping at everybody. But then he went on to go and play high school football. He was an all-state player. He played a little bit in college. Uh, his dad is an, the offensive coordinator at D-Land High School in Florida. So he comes from a football family, and he is a true competitor at heart. He is going to be a tough out for anybody. Well, you saw in that draft, you know, special. He, he's got the coach speak down. Yeah. You know, he knows all the right things to say. And, he, and he's, he's coached himself. He was actually the running backs coach um, with his pops for a little bit. And you know what? He decided to take some time away from that to actually focus on competitive Madden and streaming. And so far, so good for him. Last year, Tampa Bay's Buccaneers Club champion. He won the Road to the Madden Classic events this year. I mean, th this guy is one of the best on the circuit, but he's also going up against the young phenom Henry, who in his first year of competition is probably as impressive as anyone, which is saying something when you've had guys like Drini and whatnot do what they did in their first years of competition. Well, he used Freeman a lot so far in the first two games. So with these guys 2-0, and oh, and he goes right back to Freeman. Have you met Jarrell Casey? Right there in the hole. Here comes third and five. See what Clef does. And, you know, he's adapted his game plan. Looking at the ladder, Clef was a run-first player, but he's been passing quite a bit in this tournament. He's got X wide open. And Tyreek just can't get there. Almost face-planted. Clef almost face planted after he missed that catch. He was not happy about that one. That looked like a hottie dotty just out of the reach of Reek. And now he's got a punt. Clef forces a punt, and then Henry says, right back at you, forces Clef to punt it right back to him. Human joystick, Scott. Dante with some space. And he's trapped at the 47, so. Henry now with the ball for the second time. It did not go well in that first possession. And he opened up nice. He had the crispy dot to Casper, but then just took, you know, two sacks in a row. 
So let's see what he can do out of this gun punch. Motions out Brown. Here on first and ten, and there's Steve Largent, the legend. Able to haul it in at the 42. Largent's been big for Henry all tournament long. That's been his Mr. Reliable. And just, Mo called it out earlier, Scott. I want you to pay attention to how good Henry is in the pocket. This is a young man. Even though he has a mobile quarterback, he steps up and really moves around in that pocket. There's Brown. Quick throw to the outside. Baltimore playbook has got some really good plays in it. Yeah, that's a good point. You got Henry in the Baltimore playbook, for those that didn't know, and Clef the God in the Green Bay playbooks. I remember, Clef got that playbook late in that final round, or he would have been stuck with the Bears. Yikes. Second and two. Right between the cornerback and the safety, but can't haul it in. There's so many little high-level Madden things going on here, Scott. The way that Henry is clicking onto his receivers and moving them in better positions to attack the point of the catch is remarkable. He's done that two plays in a row right there, and then you saw Clef the God click onto his defender, make a user hit stick to knock that ball loose. There's this high-level stuff going on from two high-level players right now. Third and two from the 35, and he's going to run it with a quarterback, and Murray won't get there. Now it's decision time. Be a 51-yarder from there. Kick is up, and it is good. You put the player pull together. I mean, he didn't obviously do a lot of the base players, but what's the range on those kickers? Yeah, so you, you get... Uh, about they're all around the same kick power. I believe it's around that 84 kick power. You can get guys like I believe Goskowski, Gano. Um, they can boot it for you. It depends where the win is. I, I believe usually if you get to around that 35 yard line, you got to be feeling pretty good about yourself. So after the field goal, Clef will get it for the second time himself. And Freeman gets bottled up in the backfield. That's a gain of zero. It's a manual tackle right there from Henry. Just came around that corner. Wrapped him up himself. Look at the young 16-year-old. And they say it, and I got some time to talk with Henry. This young man is so poised. He is so mature for his age. He is wise beyond his years. Uh, not just in Madden in life. Oh, and the it's a click on, and it tips it over to Jackson, and he dives on it. It's an interception at the 39-yard line. As we call him wise beyond his years, he baits Clef into throwing into traffic, gets the interception. And now, if you're Henry, I think you can get a little aggressive right here, Scott. A field goal would be nice, but a touchdown would be huge to make it two possessions. There's the heat. We'll push him back eight yards, and that's the end of the first. Back and forth. These two Titans go here early in a game that's all about who is going to have the bye here coming out of Group B. And getting the sack right there makes it even more difficult for Henry to get in the field goal range. There's Hall. Pick up a few, and now here comes a third and 15 from the 44. Let's see if Clef can get stingy right here. Or can the hen dog pick up the first down, maybe pick up an extra eight yards, get himself in the field goal range? And many different outcomes that could go down right here, Scott. Motion's out large. Look at his pocket. Murray, dippity dot. There's Casper. All the way down to the 24. That's just textbook, Scott. If you're a beginner Madden player, go back and watch that play and just look at how poised Henry is in the pocket. He doesn't keep dropping back. He steps up, trusts his blockers, makes the correct read. That's crispy right there from the youngin. Murray hands it off to McCaffrey. All kind of space. Christian looking for the pylon. It won't matter. It's a touchdown. 
And just the stick work from the young phenom with Christian McCaffrey. It might have not looked like much, but he hits the hole perfectly. Most people, when they're one-on-one -on, -one on the outside like that, might have tried to do a move. Henry continues to take the angle up the sideline, turns it into the end zone, and now the young buck is up two possessions against Clef. But guess what? Clef, like we said, is a competitor, Scott, and he will not let this phase him. He is going to continue to fight in this game. There's Christian McCaffrey. Jenkins won't get there, and the lead is now 10. A field goal and now a touchdown. And all of a sudden, Clef the God, who's only gained five yards so far in this first half, he's got to go to work. Clef just, you know, he's really liking this inside zone. He's staying in this 11 personnel in this gun wide flex, uh, tray wide flex formation. He's really liking it. He's continuing to mix it up with some inside zone, some deep all-crossing plays. Second and four now. Keeping him honest out of this 11 personnel. Back to Freeman. It's going to be close to the marker. He's going to bring up a third and it inches from the 35. That was the one thing I didn't like about Clef's draft was Freeman being his only running back. For someone that wanted to run the ball, Freeman wouldn't have been his first choice. All kind of room. Makes a man miss. That was Amos. He couldn't lock on. And now three yards shy of midfield. Clef starting to move the football. A little user juke right there from Clef the God. You seen him? You just flick that right stick to the left one time. Put a little move on the defender. Made a miss, first down for Clef, he's on the move. Jameis. Looking, looking, buying time, he'll just throw it away. And we talk about Henry's pocket presence, that was a mature play from Clef. Sees the three-man rush, stays strong in the pocket, sees that there's nothing there, and then clicks in that right stick, which allows him to throw the ball away, avoid throwing into coverage, avoid taking a sack, live to fight another down. That's high-level Madden right there from Clef. Winston, once again from Clef, he'll use his legs and slide. Quick gain of four. And if my memory serves me correctly, I think Zeke Elliott is the backup running back. And that's why you're seeing him just featuring Freeman. And when he's... No, no, that was Ghost that got it was, the... That it was Zeke. Ghost that had him. All right. So I, I got no idea who the backup yeah, running no, back is. Yeah, no, didn't get a backup running back. Devonta Freeman. So it's is, a base player. Yeah, that's his only running back. He's going to have like Darius Geis or one of those base halfbacks. Freeman was his only halfback that he drafted. Winston now in first and ten. We saw a few drafts. <laughs> 16 in total. It's all black. Freeman out. Inside the red zone to the 18. It's going to bring up a second and three, trailing by 10. Every time it looks like Freeman has this huge gaping hole and he's getting ready to get on his horse. Henry seems to come out of nowhere with his user defender and just make that tackle time and time again. Freeman once again running free to the three. And remember, Clef gets the ball to start the second half. And that's why Henry will use a timeout with 133 to go. Yeah, smart timeout from Henry. There's still plenty of time, uh, whether he holds Clef to a field goal or lets up the touchdown to give himself a chance at a real possession uh, before the end of this half. So that was a very smart timeout by young Henry. Goal line formation, and he tries to hand it to Freeman at fullback. No, sir. Big loss of three. So it'll be second and goal from the six-yard line. 90 seconds to go after the timeout once again by Henry. Freeman will get it again and just coming free. Back-to-back -back losses pushes him all the way back to the 10. He had it on the three, RG. And that's all the hen dog right there. He shot that gap with Roquan Smith and clicked off of him. If Henry doesn't do that, that's not a tackle. I got to say, the tackling that Henry showed so far is so impressive. Winston, you know you got points in your back pocket. And he'll Boom! take a hit. The Boom! ball's loose. And Raycon Smith will scoop it up. And there's points off the board.
Why doesn't he throw it away? I guess he's trying to get that timeout out of him, but it costs him the ball. He's trying to make a play with Jameis like he's got wheels. He rolls out, should have thrown the ball away, and then just gets punched in the mouth. And now Clef's asking for a fumble the other way as a big sack on Murray. He'll use a timeout. 73 seconds to go in the half. Going the wrong way, Henry. Murray is in his own end zone! And they'll put him on the one! Look, look at Clef. He is not happy. I, I was thinking it's a safety spot. He's standing spot. in the end zone! That ball must have just broke the plane. It's on the half yard line. And he's just going to run it with Murray. Got caught up for a moment. And now we're going to have the final timeout. 63 seconds to go in the half. It has been a wild 30 seconds or so. Oh, what a sequence of events that was. We had Cliff gets punched in the mouth. Jameis lets the ball down. The O line misses it. Prime time. Makes a move. Has some room. Dion. And he's forced down at the 19. As I'm trying to talk about the sweet sequence of events, it just gets crazier and crazier. And as my guy Dub would say, this is why we watch. Remember, we'll have highlights of the other match between Dimes and Rage here at the half. But we still got 45 seconds to go. A pass in the corner, and Tyreek drags the toes. Touchdown, Clef. And as Clef the God likes to say, that's a laser. Up and good. We got a three-point game all of a sudden after the long return by Dion. And you know, most normal, most Madden players, Scott, they go down two possessions against a guy the caliber of Henry. You know, they're going to get down on themselves. They're going to start, you know, feeling out of it. Here's but a Snickers replay. It's a dot. And then you got a guy like Clef. He responds with a Snickers replay dot for a touchdown to get himself in the ball game. Here's Dante Hall. He'll put on the afterburners. Do they have the angle? And now you got to hurry up and kick the field goal or maybe get a spike and he'll spike it. Clock stops, 16 seconds to go. Dear Henry, this is scary. If you take a sack here, you're going to leave the points on the table. But he, he's going to take a shot here. It's shot play time. You cannot let this ball, a tackle happen in bounds. And he gets sacked. That's the difference between being 16 years old and old guys like us. 10 to 7 in this. We got to catch our breath while we catch up with James. <laughs> I love it. All right, Rage taking on Dimes. This is Rage with the ball. And this was his first drive of the game. Found Gronkowski for the touchdown. That was an easy drive for him, by the way. Made it 7 to nothing. And then how about this big play from Dimes? Finds the edge, gets loose. I mean, this is the slowest long touchdown you'll see, but it's a touchdown nonetheless. Made it 7-7 seven to seven Dimes with a big run touchdown. And that is where we stand right now. All right, be sure to look into the Ultimate Team menu for the competitive tab and check out the new Madden Challenge themed game day program. Get Madden Pro players as coaches, including Kurt Tobin, Sirius Mo, Boogs, Beast Mode Mac, and Crush. MCFC uniforms and some exclusive content. You can find it right now. And we'll take a sneak peek. Looking into the Snickers Players Lounge, these guys have been enjoying some serious Madden action, some high level theatrics right now between Henry and Clef. This right here for the bye as both Henry and Clef are 2-0 Raging Dimes win and get in. All right, we send it back to Scott Cole and RG. Group play doesn't get any better than this. It's been a classic so far between Henry and Clef the God and remember Raging Dimes just like James said they're playing for their lives over there. Let's kick off the second half. How about it, RG? Oh, man. And what's crazy to me, Scott, is Henry talking to him before this tournament. He said one thing he wanted to work on is when he had the lead, 
he felt that he had a tendency to, to make some mistakes. Sometimes he would rush. Sometimes he would get a little too aggressive. And that's exactly what we saw from him at the end of that first half right there. Could have took his three, instead went for the gusto, ended up getting sacked. And then the time ran out. So exactly what he wanted to work on came back to bite him in the butt right there. Let's see if it has a long-term effect in this game. That long return by Dion that set up the pass to Tyreek Hill has made it a three-point game. And Clef will start with the ball first here in the second half with a chance to go down here and take the lead. Yeah, Clef's just a competitor. He's built different. He can go down two possessions. You can have all the momentum. But until he's down and out, he is going to continue to fight. And that's what he's done so far in this game. Same with Henry. This is just two high-level players going back and forth. As they say in the community, it's a slobber knocker. If Henry didn't have Smith at middle linebacker, he'd be in real trouble with this Freeman. Going to the air this time on third and five. That's Andre Reed reaching for the yard to gain, and he got it. First down. It's a huge first down. It, it looked like he might have been a little bit short, but just falls backwards right behind that first down marker. And you breathe a sigh of relief right there if you're Clef. You weren't trying to get into a fourth down situation. So a new set of downs at the 35. Freeman had some room to run. And he'll pick up nine out to the 44. It'll be second and one. Clef does a really good job of just hitting the correct hole and finding the running lane. And that's one of the better things about Freeman is he's only five foot eight, Scott. So having the, the smaller running back is going to make it a little bit easier to squeeze through some of those tighter holes. Clef's doing a good job. Gets it to Freeman once again. He's really starting to rack up the yards now. 13 carries for 62. Yeah, it feels like with this inside zone that Clef is getting significant yardage anytime that Henry just doesn't manually get into that backfield and make the tackle himself. That means Henry's putting a lot of stress on his future defender. But if anyone has the stick work to be able to do something like that, it's the young hen dog. Can you believe we still have the wild card games coming up after this from group A and B? Still got a lot of Madden coming your way on a Super Bowl week. As Freeman will get to the outside to the 49. And that's going to be a loss of three. Yep, and that's just the difference between when Henry's looking at him, just runs right through that middle A gap, takes away the cutback lane for Clef, and makes the play himself. The amount of user work going on from both of these players is just remarkable. Trips to the left. Jameis moving forward, firing! And Tyreek Hill will gobble it up at the 26-yard line. I'm telling you, we pay all this homage to Henry's pocket presence and Clef showing that he's got some of his own. Climbs right up into that pocket, throws the receiver open. I'm just impressed right now, Scott. Winston will hand it out to Freeman. He tackled from behind at the 11-yard line. He's inside the red zone, and he's in business. Clef got down 10 to nothing. Able to score right before the half. And he's looking for more. Back to Freeman. This time closed down. That was Woods. That'll hold him to a gain of two. If you're Clef, this is, you know, an awkward situation because you kind of want to get aggressive to take the lead. But at the same time, you can't risk the turnover and you want to make sure you get out of here getting the points. As a Madden player, this could be a sticky situation right now. You could play this a variety of different ways. You could play it safe, make sure you tie the ball game, or you could go for the gusto, try to get yourself the lead. Flip the play and hand it off to Freeman. Freeman up the middle, stumble for a moment, and they'll mark him down at the five. Third and four. Still can get a first down technically. I like Clef in the scully. We, I think that's one of the first, you know, players we've seen kind of scullied up. Somebody we've, was saying earlier in the talent room, he sort of looked like a boxer. I think it was James. I don't want to get in the ring with that guy. We've seen do-rags, we've seen bandanas, but now we got the beanie slash scully from Clef. Third and four. Winston. And there is 
Oh, Tyree man. Tyreek Hill on a little hitch. And that's back-to-back -back touchdowns, not only for Clef, but for Tyreek Hill. What's Look up? at the emotion from Clef. He's fired up. After being down 10 points, comes through a 14 unanswered from Tyreek Hill. What's even more impressive is he's called how big Tyreek Hill's been for him and said he was going to do work for him in this tournament. And now let's see how Henry responds <laughs> to being down. Big Not time hit. Set. Come on. It was 11 play, 76 yard drive, taking up nearly all the third quarter. And it's just Die. a short little hitch route. Oh, man. Those are beautiful routes. It's a hot route when you got a receiver in the slot. You can hot route him to that hitch. Very popular in this game. Beautiful play call. Dante knocked out of bounds at the 34. It'll bring him second in inches for Henry. Rocking the Bears. Cliff rocking the Buccaneers. Of course, this is mutt draft mode. They had to go through 24 rounds, and Kyler Murray. Give me a fumble back. Yikes. Give me a fumble back, brother. Usually that happens when you try to get a little too glitchy and break a handoff and keep it with your quarterback. Sometimes it works out for you, but sometimes your dirtbaggery come back to bite you in the butt and they glitch out. That's what happened to Henry. Hall. Stays on his feet and he'll pick up the first down. Eight for 10 for 138 yards for Henry. I just want to say, Scott, look at that bottom right of your screen. Look how poised Henry looks right now. Just so focused, so locked in at 16 years old, playing in a game that will get him in the final eight of this tournament, guarantee him 10K. He's just making it look like business as usual. And there is an, an accurate throw. That was not a throwaway as he's looking for RB. Are you saying the young RG was not as poised as Henry? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Uh, let's just say uh, m many controllers met their demise due to a young RG and his emotions back in the day. 14 Ted. Henry started out 10 to nothing, but he's given up 14 unanswered. And there's Steve Largent, but can't hang on. Thank you. Tough breaks right now for Henry. The last play, he had the receiver wide open, but he threw it on the run. It gave him an inaccuracy penalty. And right there, he gets Largent with a little bit of space, but just not able to hold on to it. Here he is on third down. Murray. The tackle. Not to live with that. Good tackle, boy. It's near the 43. You guys never had to worry about the what kind of catch you're going to use. <laughs> That's true. That's true, it used to be one button, but it used to be annoying because you'd have a guy wide open and then you'd want him to rack it, but then he'd jump up, so it's a benefit. He's given some Oh, take. it's a good benefit. But I guess when you were playing, there was only three buttons. It was in black and white. <laughs> well, we got a big fourth down right here, Scott. This is probably the biggest play of the game thus far. Fourth and three from the 43. We're just chilling in the fourth quarter, no big deal. And Brown's wide open. First down and more, all the way to the 22. And I love that right there, Scott. Fourth and three, you're gonna commit your defense underneath, you're looking for the short dump off pass, and you you know, you got the kahunas to just test them deep and pick up a big chunk. Problem right, one of the greatest, if not the greatest Madden player of all time was famous for that. Henry takes a page out of his playbook. Now, that's, that's the Fortnite guy, right? Problem? Don't do problem like that. <laughs> Don't, you can't do it. No, the he's the greatest, like he's the greatest of all can't time. Do that. Hands it to McCaffrey. I, I was watching him yesterday. Those guys out there, you know, we mentioned a bunch of guys battling their way through the LCQs right now, hoping to find a way into the Madden Bowl. Hey, remember, problem was one game away from making this tournament. Right. He lost to K Mac yeah. in a win and get in. So the GOAT's still out there making it happen. Can't wait to see who we're going to have in the Madden Bowl. Second and 12. Eric knows I love him. Everyone settle down. Murray. And it's going to be a sack. Pushes it back to the 31. What a weird defense from Clef. I'm watching Clef's defensive adjustments. He is just mixing it up like crazy. It's got to be so hard for Henry to get keen to what he wants to do. And he has to just drop it off because the heat was coming right up the middle. And he's going to have to... Get into a mental pretzel here at the two-minute warning. You gotta go. I know you got all three timeouts. I mean, I'm saying you gotta go. What do you gotta do, Archie? I, I, 
you could kick the field goal here and try yeah. to play defense, but I think if you're Henry and you're this high powered on offense. Yeah, he's not even thinking about it. He's going for it. I think it's kicker is Ronnie Dickstein. He's going to leave him on the sideline. 4th and 15. Ball at the 27-yard line. Look for, look for Clef to send some heat from the left side of your screen, that slot cornerback. He's got to get all the way down to the 12. <laughs> what do you got, Henry? Murray yeah. doesn't have time, and a big sack Come by Clef. We told you, this this young man, Clef the God, he's a competitor. Found himself down 10-0 to one of the best players, if not the best player in the world, and young Henry got 14 unanswered and then just got the huge st clutch stop in the fourth quarter. And he could seal this game away with a couple of first downs. Boza's down in Miami, but right there he was in the backfield. Can Clef seal this out and take the bye? And Freeman! One man to beat! Ooh! Come on. Come on. Dropped at the 38. He's over a century mark. Eight carries for 105. It's a huge, huge run right there. Super sticky little stop and go. Whoopsie! But it's not over. Henry with all three timeouts still. He can get stingy right here and potentially get this ball back with about a minute left to go down and score. But he has no more room for error. You got to completely lock up right now if you're the hen dog. Get a stop and even hold him to a field goal. He's still in the ball game. Precious time ticking away. Using all that clock for Clef. And he hands it to Freeman. First down would do it. Oh. Oh, man. And Henry won't use a timeout. I think he knows it's over. And that buy is huge because you don't have to play later on today. You go back to the hotel and we'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, you get yourself in the final eight. You guarantee yourself $10,000. But I think that's the bigger deal, Scott. Getting to skip a potential hell game against another elite competitor. It's just such a big deal. Freeman tripped up in the backfield. Uh, Henry uses second timeout. But even at this moment, I mean, you talk about getting the ball back with like eight seconds. The, the strange thing for Clef's going to be after he runs this ball. It's certainly on conservative. First down, come maybe on, all matter. Let's go, Never mind. Let's go, GG's man. the Clef. If he didn't get that, he would have had to kick the field goal, which is a little scary because it could have got blocked. But Clef said, Let, let's avoid all that drama. First down, ball game. What a performance. Show of respect right there.